Welcome to this Friday Flash. I'm Lynn Hunsaker with Clear Action Continuum. We're talking about new segmentation for new times. This is part of our Smoothing Silos series from the Clear Action Value Exchange. Most organizations are revisiting segmentation as customer circumstances, realities, expectations, consequences and workarounds and growth potential have shifted in many ways. Traditionally, segmentation is based on demographics and psychographics, such as new college grads versus empty nesters, enterprise versus consumer, residential versus industrial, large accounts and small accounts, high volume and low volume. The increase in diversity in recent years of media channels and customer preferences has led to hyper-personalization and an array of customer personas that are guiding customer touchpoint optimization and the customer facing organizations. In this new decade, there's a heightened call for nimbleness where non-customer facing groups must also stay close to the customer and customer segmentation personas need to adapt to that reality as well. Segmentation influences all 10 of these business silos from strategy to tactics, technologies to deliverables the experience we create for our customers, employees, and investors is influenced by segmentation and how it affects every one of these silos. For more information about how silos are defined, revisit our first episode of this series. Business success, as well as customer experience performance, is really all about expectations. When a customer's reality is less than their expectations, they look at it as a poor customer experience. This affects our costs in escalations, customer support and success, uh, negative word of mouth, productivity, and opportunity costs. When a customer's reality matches their expectations, they look at it as a good customer experience, which also affects our revenue in uh, positive word of mouth, wallet, increased wallet share and market share, and organic growth through stronger relationships. In a nutshell, customer experiences, realities compared to expectations, and business performance is likewise, are we meeting customers' realities compared to the expectations that have been set by us or the forces around us? This point has huge implications for customer segmentation as business success revolves around hitting the mark on expectations for both revenue growth and profitability growth we need to revisit whether large and small accounts, uh, residential versus consumer and so forth are really serving us well in identifying homogeneous expectations across the end-to-end -end customer life cycle or end-to-end -end journey. In my first job out of college, working in a strategic planning department, I visited our customers across the country for deeper insights into their expectations range for a variety of parameters. We discovered that across the life cycle and end-to-end -end customer journey, uh, customers' expectations were wider or more narrow for certain steps. And furthermore, when you step back and look at all of the customers' results, you could find patterns in those expectation sets. Typically, these expectations patterns transcend traditional demographics and psychographics. Even better news is that Overall, there may be only two, three, or four expectation sets, greatly simplifying personas and actionability across your entire company. The best way to reduce costs and to grow both profit and revenue organically is to pay attention to the moments of truth by expectation sets. This guides both touch points as well as the non-customer facing groups and the decisions that they make in accordance with what customers need for positive word of mouth, increasing share of wallet and market share. To make customer personas actionable for non-customer facing groups like legal, finance, HR, facilities, IT, and so forth, focus on what customer standards are for each of the expectation sets at each step in the customer journey. When you would also add the customer's workarounds and consequences when these standards are not met, this will speak volumes to these organizations and make them your allies in delivering the brand promise.
For customer facing roles and optimization of your touch points, you can create subsets of your overall expectations personas. Through expectation segmentation, you can influence cross organizational collaboration and shared vision through greater clarity on intentional customer experience. Typically, the data to do this work is already on hand. Combining customer data from a variety of sources with emphasis on customer comments can make your customer segmentation, personas, and intentional customer experience even more vivid. You'll find more advice like this in the Clear Action Value Exchange, designed for customer intelligence stewards, marketing, customer success, customer care, and customer experience, for ease of work and ease of doing business, closing the brand customer gap. The three overall competencies in the Clear Action Value Exchange are agility, alignment, and accountability, increasing effectiveness and efficiency for business growth. Join us in the Clear Action Value Exchange today.